Hi everyone, I have a workout for you today on the reformer. We are going to only use a heavy spring and a light spring. So on my balanced body reformer, that is going to be a red spring and a yellow. So just know those are the only two springs that you guys are gonna use. Before we get started, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. You guys can leave me those super comments, super likes. I really appreciate it. Let's get going. So we're gonna lie down to start warming up our core. When you guys get down, I am on my heavy and my light spring. So one red, one yellow, heavy light. When we get down, add rest can be up or down. That's up to you guys. We're gonna do a quick abdominal workout. So let's go ahead, reach back, grab your short loops into your hands, reach your arms up to the ceiling. Hands should be right over your shoulders. We're in our neutral spines, and then we're gonna bring our knees up into a tabletop position. We're starting right away with ab curls. So on our exhale, let's press the arms down, not and curl ourselves up into our abdominal curl, and then we're gonna inhale, return back down with control. Exhaling as we nod and curl, inhale to return back down. Exhale, press curl, inhale, return. We're gonna go for three more. That curl comes right from your bra line. We go chin to chest. Return on this last one. We're gonna hold ourselves up at the top. Inhale, dip the right toes down to the springs. Exhale, lift, left toes dip down, and then exhale, lift. So we inhale the hinge, exhale, lift. The idea, you guys, is that you keep that nice 90 degree angle bend to your knees. You're hinging, releasing at the hip, and then exhaling to lift. We wanna engage our obliques to come back up. Now, the next time that left leg comes up, pause. Inhale, dip both toes down towards your springs. Scoop into your low abs to lift. Inhale, hinge. Exhale, lift. Now think that lift comes from that two inches underneath your belly button, drawing in and up to lift. Neutral spine the entire time. You guys are gonna go for two more dips. And then last one when we come up, arms up, head down, relax the feet, and we'll just give ourselves a quick stretch. From that stretch, let's reach the arms up to the ceiling. Neutral spines again, knees up into your tabletop, legs are zipped together, one abdominal curl. So let's press, curl ourselves up, pause at the top. We're gonna inhale, reach our right leg out to a challenging level. Exhale, pull in, left leg out, exhale in. Inhale out, exhale back. Again, single leg, so I wanna think I'm engaging my obliques to pull each leg back in. We're gonna do one more right, one more left. Inhale, exhale, last one out. In, pause in, inhale, reach both legs out. Scoop into your low abs to pull in. Inhale out, exhale in, reach and pull. We're gonna go for two more. Inhale away, exhale back, last one out. In, arms up, head down, relax the feet. Give yourselves a nice stretch. Now, these next two, if it does feel better to come into a flat back position rather than neutral spine, feel free to come into a flat back. We're gonna reach the arms up to the ceiling, bring our knees up into a tabletop position again, legs are zipped together, reach both legs up to the ceiling, we're gonna press curl up into our abdominal curls, pause, inhale, lower the right leg straight down, use those right obliques to lift, left leg lowers, exhale, lift, inhale down, exhale up. We are gonna go for two more on the right leg, two more on the left. One more right, one more left. Pause with both legs up to the ceiling. Inhale, lower both legs down to a challenging level. Scoop into your low abs to lift. Think all low abs, no low back. If you guys feel this in your low back, you need to shorten your range of motion. You have three more. Two. Last one. When you come up, bend your knees, arms up, head down. Relax the feet and we're gonna hang our straps up. Now, when we hang the straps up, sit yourselves off to the sides of reformers. Take off your heavy spring. So you guys are on one light spring. Again, one yellow for me. We're gonna kneel on your reformers, facing your foot bars. Knees are going to be right up at the edge of your carriage. I'm gonna give myself like an inch space. And then hands are gonna go right onto your foot bar. Thumbs are with your fingers. Shoulders over your hands, and then toes can be curled or uncurled, that is up to you guys. Now, keeping your shoulders over your hands in your neutral spine, we're gonna inhale, press the knees out into a kneeling plank, exhale, pull the knees in. Inhale out, exhale in. Now, just making sure when I push out, I'm not collapsing into my low back. I wanna think that nice neutral the entire time. Push, 
and pull. If your abs get lazy, you are going to feel your low back working and not your core. So think strong core the entire time. We're gonna push out for two, and then last one out and in. Now push out one time. Hold yourselves out there. We're gonna do narrow push-ups. So you're gonna bend your elbows narrow, press up. Bend narrow, press, narrow, press. I want the elbows to shave your ribs. These can be big, they can be small. That carriage should say, be staying pretty still. One more. Come up, bring the carriage in. Feel free to stretch back. We have wide push-ups next. So, shoulders over your hands, hips right over your knees. We're gonna push our knees out one time, hold. Again, that carriage should stay pretty still. We're bending wide, exhaling to press wide. Press. Again, these can be big, they can be small. That is completely up to you guys. Give me three more. Two, one, and bring it all the way back in. All right, now from here, I'm gonna bring my foot bar up just one position. So foot bar goes up one position, it locks in, and then we're gonna stay on this yellow spring. Take your hands onto your foot bar, thumbs with your fingers. Just for a second, you guys are gonna take your knees out in front of you on the wooden platform. Your toes are gonna curl underneath you on the carriage. We're going to lift the knees up, hold, stretch our legs out, tuck the pelvis, come in. Inhale out, exhale in, out, and in. Push, pull, think, draw those abs in to your back. Three, two, and one. Now come all the way in, set your heels down, long legs, bring that carriage in, step your left foot onto the wooden platform, right foot stays on the carriage. We rotate, we face the side of the room, our toes are even, our feet are parallel. The wider I have my legs, the more challenging this will be for my adductors. I'm gonna inhale, push the carriage out with both legs, and then exhale, pull back in with both legs. Inhale to push, and then exhale to pull back in. We want those inner thighs, again, adductors to fire. Inhale out, exhale, pull back in. We're gonna go up for four more. Just making sure too when you guys press out, you're not rolling to the insides of your feet, you're trying to keep that weight evenly distributed. Push and pull, this is the last one. All right, pause in. We're gonna fold forward, rotate towards your foot bars, take both feet onto your carriage, your toes are pointed forward, shoulders over your hands, thumbs are with your fingers. Inhale, you're gonna slowly press your legs out into a plank, Exhale, tuck your pelvis, hike your hips to come in. Inhale out, exhale, tuck, hike. Think, draw your abs into your back as you lift your hips up. Inhale out, exhale, back in. We're gonna go for two, and then last one. All right, now once we come in, pause in. We're gonna take our right foot onto the wooden platform, rotate to the other side, feet are parallel and even, hands you guys can be wherever they feel comfortable, mine are gonna go to my hips, we're gonna inhale to push out with both legs, and then exhale, pull back in with both legs. So again, adductors, same thing as before, the wider the legs are, you guys, the more challenging this is, so if you wanna step your left foot a little further out onto your carriage, you can go ahead and do so, making sure when we push out, our weight doesn't roll to the arch. We're trying to keep that weight evenly distributed. Inhale out. Exhale, pull back in. Three more. Two. And one. All right, now once you guys come in, pause. We're gonna fold forward, take your hands onto the foot bar. From here, if you need to bend your knees, you guys can add on that one heavy spring, that red. So now we're on a red and a yellow. 
or a heavy and a light. Hands are back onto the foot bar, thumbs with the fingers. We're gonna step our right foot back to the shoulder block, heel is lifted, toes are curled, left foot back, press your legs out, you're in a plank, legs stay long, we inhale to push out with our arms, we exhale to pull in. Inhale out as far as you guys feel comfortable, exhale to pull back in. Again, butts stay down, abs are in. Push, pull, we're gonna go for two more, and then last one. When you come in, lift your hips, step forward with your feet, guys, take your left foot back to the wooden platform, rotate again. The wider we have our feet now, the easier this will be, the more narrow you have your feet, the more challenging this will be. Abductors this time. So you're gonna exhale, push out with both legs, resist in, it's heavy. Push out, resist in. We're in the outsides of the legs, outsides of the glutes, again, abduction rather than your adduction. Push, resist in. Don't let those springs pull you back, push. Resist, we're gonna go for three, two, and then last one, push, resist. Now, fold forward, take your hands back onto the foot bar, both feet onto your carriage. You guys are gonna do one more plank here, just step to the center of your reformers, shift your weight back into your heels, light hands on the foot bar, we're gonna inhale, push the legs out just about a foot or so, and then exhale, pull back in for a little elephant. We're gonna inhale, push, and exhale, pull. Make sure you keep the weight in your heels. The legs are pushing out, your abdominals are pulling the carriage back in underneath you. We're just gonna do one more, pull in. All right, step forward, right foot onto the wooden platform, rotate again, the wider you guys have your feet, the easier this one is. We're gonna exhale to push out with both legs, inhale, resist in, push and resist. Abductors, out and resist in. We're gonna go for three. Try to push out evenly with both legs. Last one. All right, now once you guys come in, I want you to step back with your left foot first. Step back with your right. You're gonna put your foot bar up to the starting position. We're staying on these same springs. I'm gonna stand right to the side of my reformer. My left foot is gonna go back to the shoulder block closest to me. Right foot is gonna stay on the floor. I'm lifting my left knee off of the carriage and then my right hip should be right about over my ankle. Both hands are gonna go onto the foot bar and then we're gonna bend our right knee a few inches and you're gonna sink your booty back a few inches. Hold here. You're gonna press the carriage out with your left leg, bend in, push out and in. So the only movement should be coming from your left leg to press, bend, press, bend. Think squeeze your glute to push out. Exhale out, inhale back. Push, resist, push, resist. We have three, two, last one. Now pause all the way out, hold. You guys are gonna come halfway in with your carriage, all the way out, halfway in, all the way out. Now you guys can either have both hands on the foot bar, one hand on the foot bar, no hands on the foot bar. Up to you, I want you to think you're squeezing your glute to push out, halfway, out, halfway. Now. Hold at that halfway point, give me little pulses of that carriage. Five, four, three, two, one, all the way out, all the way in, relax. All right, step your right foot just a little further forward, your left knee is down, press the carriage out with your left leg, press out with your right, hold the stretch, really push your hands into the foot bar, Stretch out the front of your left leg, back of your right. Bring the carriage in, and we're gonna switch sides. So walk around, same springs on, right foot back, left foot is on the floor. Again, my left hip is right over my ankle, my right knee is off the carriage, both hands can start on the foot bar, bend your left knee a few inches, sink your booty back a few inches, hold. Push the carriage out and in, out and in. I want you guys to think push from your heel and squeeze your glute. So that's not 
just your quad working for this exercise. It is your glute max and hamstring working as well. Press in, out, and you guys can have one hand on the foot bar, both hands on the foot bar, no hands on. It is up to you. We're gonna go out for three more. Two, one, hold, ready, halfway in, all the way out, halfway in, all the way out for those nice pulses. Halfway in, out, halfway in, out. Two, one, all right, hold at that halfway point. Give me those little pulses for eight. Three, two, one, all the way out and in. All right, set your knee down, step your left foot a little further forward, press back with your right, press back with your left, and try to push and hold that stretch. All right, bring that carriage in. One more round of abs. Take off your red spring. You are just on a yellow. One light spring. Kneel on your reformers. Face your straps. Knees are up against your shoulder blocks. Hands go right onto the frame of your reformer. And then from here, you're gonna curl your toes underneath you. We're gonna walk our hands a little further out. So now our shoulders are not over our hands. We're gonna lift the knees up and then come into a plank. Adjust your toes and hands as needed, you guys. We're gonna start with knee tuck. So we're gonna tuck the pelvis, pull the knees in, go out, exhale in, inhale out. Tuck the pelvis, draw your abs in. Three more. Two and one. And we can relax down. Feel free to stretch back. We're gonna go into our pikes next. So hands back on the frame, knees can be up against the shoulder box. We're gonna lift the knees, come up into our planks, adjust the hands or feet if you guys need to. You're gonna tuck your pelvis, hike your hips, bring the carriage in and out. Tuck, hike, out. Legs are long the entire time. Two more. And then last one. Bend the knees, come down. Feel free to stretch back. All right, from here, let's sit our butts down. We're gonna scoot back. I'm gonna be about an arm distance away from my shoulder blocks. Just one stretch to finish off. You guys are gonna lift your butts up off of the carriage. You're pressing your carriage out. Let your chest drop down in between your arms. Rest your forehead on the carriage if you can. Hold, tuck the pelvis, round to come in. Give me two more, inhale out. Chest drops down, exhale, tuck round, and come in, last one, inhale away. Exhale round, and come in. All right, you guys can sit your butts down, sit yourselves off to the sides. You guys are all done. I hope you enjoyed that workout. Don't forget, like, share, subscribe. Leave me those super likes, super comments. I really appreciate it, guys. Thank you.